Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to be touring The Lily by Franklin Homes. Absolutely beautiful. This is a four bedroom, two bath. It's 2,565 square feet. Now, excuse the mess, this house has been sold, but they allowed me to tour this home and I couldn't pass it up. So come on, you guys, let's start outside. You're not gonna believe this house. All right, family, again, this is the Lily by Franklin Homes. This is the Lily by Franklin Homes. We'll go up the steps so you can really get a good view of the front porch. They have a large covered porch that covers the whole length of the front of the house. Excuse all the mess that you'll see because this home has been sold and they are, this home has been sold and they're preparing it to be shipped. So I'm standing on one end of the porch, looking down. Ooh, that breeze feels so good. I would line up, I would put pretty white rockers out here on this porch. So people could just sit out here and rock away. You know what I mean? Beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. All of this is the covered porch. I'm walking down to the other end. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gray siding, love the shutters. Beautiful, really nice. So that's the covered porch, okay? It, it, it reminds me of another home that I toured on this channel, the Cairo. Love it, because of the porch. So this is the front door. When you walk in, you have this entry here. So, I'm gonna shut the screen door and leave this open. So, when you walk in, you have this linen closet. Really nice linen closet. It has carpeting on the inside but that is the entry so if you open the door for somebody you don't know they won't see into your house which is a plus so that is your entry area there you can put a little table and lamp over there behind the door if you want um or you could do nothing absolutely beautiful love it put a nice picture on the wall and call it a day now from the living room from the front door you can see over into the living room Love it. The beam in the ceiling is the same color as the ceiling, but I probably wouldn't do that. I would probably have it painted or stained the same color as um, the fireplace beam. That's probably what I would do. But all of this is living, you guys. I hope that this camera does the size of this home justice because this home is huge. All of this is living room. Okay, you've got a ceiling fan in here, two big windows. Absolutely love it. Love the stonework over the fireplace. This is a real fireplace. Okay. Love the natural look of this wood here on the mantle. And I would make that being the same color. Really nice. All right, so that is your living room. Now, I need to go out a little and spin around. From your living room, you can see into the dining room and over into the kitchen. Kind of a separation here, I'll back up so you can really see it. Kind of a separation there. So it's not completely open, but it's open. So on this side is your dining room a kitchen area and then on this side are bedrooms so we'll go to the left first you have these two huge windows in your dining room area all of this is dining room you guys see how far away i am yeah this place is huge you have this back door here that would lead to our deck really nice it has blinds here well on the other side of the screen you'd have to let them down with the control, but you have blinds that would give you privacy in the door. And then of course, two big windows there. Really nice. So all of this is your dining room. 
and you have a ceiling fan in your dining room as well. Really lovely. We'll spin around here, and this is your kitchen. Galley type kitchen, but I love it. It's a lot of space in here, a lot of windows. You've got six big windows in this kitchen. Love the stainless steel appliances. You've got everything you need. You've got your built-in microwave. You've got your, listen. Okay. Right from the gas stove. This is gas, baby. Okay, this is gas. I'm so excited. When I see that I can get water from above my stove, <laughs> I am sold. Look at all the outlets all the way around the kitchen. Outlet, outlet, outlet. I can have ninja foodies, blenders, all kind of stuff on my counter if I choose. This home has granite countertops in here, dark granite countertops. Look at the tall cabinets. Look at there. Everything you need. You've got pot drawers under the microwave. Really nice. Lots of cabinets and drawers in your huge island. You can see four at this island. Really lovely. Really lovely. Love it. I'm just going to let you look. Really nice. I'll go over here. And let you look. Really nice. Love the corner cabinets. Y'all know I love a good corner cabinet. So not only do you have the corner cabinet here. Bam. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, why didn't open it? So not only do you have the corner cabinet here. Okay, but you have the corner cabinet here. Look at there. Okay, so give it to me. I want it. Give it to me. <laughs> I'll come over here and let you look. Beautiful. All right, we're already at seven minutes and I haven't even left the kitchen, so let's go. All right, back through. I'm gonna spin back around for you. We're in the living room. Kitchen and dining room over there. Now here we have two places we could go. Your master suite is back there and your additional bedrooms is down this hall. So we're gonna go check out the additional bedrooms first. The first door that we get to is a linen closet. I know it's dark, but that is a linen closet. And then right here, you have additional bedroom number one. Again, they are preparing this house to be shipped. So this is additional bedroom number one. You have a regular closet in there. Love the wood shelving in all the closets. So that's bedroom number one. Across from the bedroom, you have, you can't even see it, I'm sorry. I'll try to put a picture up. But this is uh, your additional bath. You have a sink here, toilet, shower over there. Okay, you have bedroom number two right here. This one has a walk-in closet. Really nice. So that's bedroom number two. And then over here, bringing in all of this light with those two big windows, is bedroom number three. 
Beautiful. Really nice walk-in closet. Ceiling fan in here. Really nice. All right. I'll go back down the hall and show you again what we saw. Sorry about that bathroom, you guys, but it's just dark on that side. Okay, so down this hall, you have a linen closet and you have a bedroom here. You have another bedroom next to it and a bedroom straight ahead. And then on this side, you have an additional bath. All right. And then you have a coat closet here or a linen closet off the living room. All right. So that is a linen closet. And then this is your laundry room. Nice cubby right there with the appliance plug so you can put a deep freezer over there if you choose. That's your AC closet. Shelving where your washer and dryer go. You have your back door here. And then you have a nice sink for folding, sink and counter space for folding. And then you have cabinet space and even drawer space behind the door. Really nice. I don't know if I mentioned, I love the gray in these floors that complement the house. Really lovely. So next to the laundry room, you have this hallway that leads to the master. Got a huge master in here. These at least at least 10, maybe taller um, ceilings, foot ceilings, which is always a plus. It makes the house seem even larger because the ceilings are so tall. But this is the master and I'm gonna go to all of these doors. So that's the door where you enter. Right here you have Master closet here. Lots of shelving. I know it's dark. I'm trying to come at an angle where you can see. But this is all master closet. And don't worry, it's just the first one. So that's your first master closet. And then you have your second master closet over here, kind of a his and her. So you guys can decide who gets which one or you can share them depending on what your needs are. So you got two closets and then over here is your master bath. You've got double sinks here. The mirrors aren't up, but there are mirrors. There's the lighting. You've got double In sinks. In addition to your double sinks, you've got your toilet here Behind the, toilet, behind the door, you've got shelving in there. Love, love, love the shower. Look at the beautiful tile that's in here. Just really nice. You've got a transom window. I'm sorry, I'm trying to see what you can see. You've got a transom window in here. You've got this huge shower head, rain shower, shower head. Love, love, love the built-in seating. And then you've got your handheld shower head over here. Really lovely. This has a actual door. Beautiful, really lovely. And then you've got this large garden tub. You've got a window that opens above the tub and you've got extra storage space over here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, and I love, you can actually put a hamper behind this door or whatever you choose, because you've got so much space in here. So really lovely. This is a beautiful house, you guys. This is the Lily by Franklin Homes. It's out here at 
Sinclair Coney in Milledgeville. Now this particular model is sold, but you can inquire about this home and even order it, custom order it the way you like, the colors you like, etc., by contacting Sinclair Coney in Milledgeville, Georgia. Hope you enjoyed the tour. They don't post prices. If you're interested in prices, please contact them using the information below, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies, and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. Try